Michigan Civic Engagement Director for Undivided, Stephanie Kreider, joining us on the Splash. Thank you so much for joining us, Stephanie. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, yes. Now, first and foremost, Stephanie, just talk about what led you into wanting to do this writing workshop for the Juneteenth Jamboree. Absolutely. Actually, I am a member of the West Bloomfield Social Justice Committee, and we had a lengthy conversation about what would be the most relevant way that we can um, talk about Juneteenth and talk about modern times and, and what we feel we can contribute to our local community. And so there's been a lot of conversation about the power of story and civic engagement. And as we were talking about this theme of the power of story, um, I said, you know what, I, I'm providing free training across the state of Michigan right now for Undivided. And with that initiative, we are helping people to feel empowered by discovering their own story. And so we thought it would be a great fit for Juneteenth because storytelling has been a part of the African-American tradition for forever. And that's and I'm so glad that you take the initiative to want to be involved and to, you know, and, and give these free this free workshop for this Juneteenth Jamboree here in West Bloomfield. Can you talk about the theme of the power of story and why you feel like it's relevant to Juneteenth? Absolutely. So um, I happen to be someone who grew up and um, there's a rich tradi tradi tradition, I'm sorry, in terms of um, my family coming from down south and you know, we all know the, the history of the South and integration, and um, it really helped shape me in terms of who my parents are, who my grandparents are. But I really missed out on those opportunities to be able to sit, um, you know, at my grandparents' feet, if you will, and be able to hear these powerful stories of, you know, what shaped them, what created their character, why they were doing what they were doing. Um, I didn't have those opportunities and I always craved that. And I heard people talking about the oral tradition, right? That's passed down through history in the black community. And so when I think about Juneteenth, I can't help but think about the stories that were passed down from people, you know, who were emancipated, who found out that they had already been free and didn't know and what that story, how that's retold today. And so what an empowering story to share um, with that family, but what would it be in, for families today if they were to understand their own history, if they were to understand what their own families overcame? And then bring it fast forward today, when we're looking at increasing civic engagement in Michigan in 2024, how do we go from like, the 1865, you know, 1964 stories to 2024 stories. Right. And that means you and I, right? And so what are some of the challenges that we've actually overcome? What are the choices that we made to get the outcomes of what we see today? And what we find is that people leave the workshop feeling fired up, feeling inspired, and learning so much about themselves that they never thought about before. I love to hear that, uh, Stephanie, and you hit on a lot of great mm -hmm. points, especially about reaching out to relatives to tell their story. And join us here on the Splash Live, National Facilitator and Michigan Civic in Engagement Director for Undivided Incorporated and a member of the Social Justice Committee, Stephanie Kreider on the Splash Live, talking about uh, her workshop that she'll be giving at the Juneteenth Jamboree. All right, and Stephanie, I do have a question for you. When I, th I hear, just like you used to say, um, there's so much great information. How do we bring that art into the schools? How do we do something like that so that not only within the community at, at large, but we um, bring that into our schools, that art of storytelling, and get our students interested in sitting at the feet of their grandparents or aunts and uncles, because I too come from the South and I truly believe, yeah, that the art of that storytelling is so powerful. How do we spread that? I love that question, Sonia, and I appreciate it, especially coming from you, because I know you work so hard 
in our school system to make sure that all students are included. And what I'll say is that this is an activity that is for all kids. That's the beauty of what Undivided does. And this could be implemented not only in history classes, not only in writing courses, but how can we include this in math and science and other areas? Because part of what I think students have said to me and other advocates over the years is that we want to see ourselves in the stories, right? We want to be represented in what we're learning. And so how do we do that? Undivided has this heart shape that I absolutely love. And that heart shape talks about identity, relationships, and action. And so if we think about it through that framework, right, what is the identity of the student? And then how can we incorporate that into the curriculum that we're sharing in our classrooms, in our clubs, in any activity that we have, right? What is their identity? How do we help them to be able to articulate that? And when you help students do that through this activity, mm -hmm. then they will establish better relationships with each other. Because what happens is that once I hear your story, you hear my story, we find a common ground and then there's a bond that begins to develop. And sometimes if we find out there's something that's different, maybe my values are slightly different than yours or your lived experience is very different than mine, we find a way to, to still find common ground and what we call an undivided lean in with curiosity. So, you know, I may not have had that experience in my life. So can you tell me a little bit more about what that experience was like for you. That's how we see this play out for adults across the country. I would love to see that happen in the classroom with students. And the last part of that heart shape is once we have those relationships, that's how we shift into action. And when we've had an opportunity to get to know each other, understand who we are, that helps us to work in a collaborative way to do action inside our schools, inside our mm -hmm. workplace, and inside our communities as well. Mm -hmm. Solid point, yeah. solid point. And it takes effort. It takes the entire community to kind of put that put that uh, effort towards, especially for the youth and the younger generation also. So thank you for providing that Absolutely. insight. Yeah. One last thing before we let you go, if you don't mind, Stephanie, just give people another in, uh, overview of the uh, writing workshop that you will be providing, will be providing for the Juneteenth Jamboree today in West Bloomfield. Absolutely, I uh, thank you for this opportunity. So let me say, Undivided, you can learn more at undivided.us. And Undivided is an organization that focuses on racial healing, racial solidarity, and racial justice. And we are available nationwide. There are cohorts, there are workshops. And what I'm doing is providing a mini version of a workshop that Undivided provides. It is called The Power of Story. Mm -hmm. And so what we would like to do is bring you into the room. I'm actually sitting in the classroom right now that's in the Parks and Rec Department. Um, and when you come, I have a handout that you will be able to work on. There's some silent time where you will be able to reflect on this guided workshop activity. There's a time when you would engage with a small group at your table. And it's a powerful experience to reflect on your life and the outcomes and how you can use that to leverage your power today. Martin Luther King Jr. describes power as the ability to achieve purpose. And we are aiming to help people achieve their purpose in their own lives, for their families, and for their community. And so that's what we're gonna do today, and we're excited. Oh, and good luck today too, yes. by the way, Stephanie. We are we wanna thank you again for joining us. Thank you so much for your time. And we hope everyone goes out there and check out your writing workshop today from the National or National Facilitator and Michigan Civic Engagement Director for Undivided and a member of the Social Justice Committee, Stephanie Kreider. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you. See you all soon.